Today I have for you 10 fundamental grep commands every InDesign user should use. Grep is usually used for search and replace, but it can also be set up to apply automatically. You just need to create a paragraph style, find the grep style, and create grep styles that you need. As you can see, my grips are set up to apply the no break character style. And for this style, I just enabled the no break checkbox. This means that everything with this style won't be split across lines. Now let's see how it works. For each grip command, I prepared two paragraphs. First one is using grip styles, and the second one has no grips at all. So the first grip command looks for single letter words like I and A followed by a space and ensure they stay with the next word. As you can see on the second paragraph, the A left at the end of the line. The second grip command keeps an end dash with the word preceding it. As you can see on the second paragraph, the end dash jumped to the next line. And grip number three keeps short words with the following word. This means that all two letter words will jump to the next line. As you can see on the second paragraph, in and B, they left at the end of the line. And there is no specific rule in English about it, but I believe they should not be left at the end of the line. It disrupts the flow of reading and it looks bad. The next grab helps to avoid single words on the line. It helps make layout more pleasant. And the grab number 5 prevents line breaks after titles, like Mr. Smith and it's just the way it should be. And next grab command attaches units of measurements to numbers, like 20%. And grab command number 7 keep dates and time together, and it works for different formats, like 1st September 2024. Let's write here date. Let's see. Oh, it jumped to the next line. This grab command for phone numbers, it works for different formats too. Number 01012111100 and it jumped. And if I change the paragraph style, it will look like this. And this grab command for websites, it keeps website URL together. And the last grab for email addresses, just to keep them together too. And that's it. I recommend to use these grab styles to create more professional layouts. And you can download this PDF file. I left a link in the description. I hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Ask any questions in the comments. And I'll see you next time.